I'm Ryan Nevin. We farm at Rapid City, Manitoba, uh, 20 miles north of Brandon and about three and a half hours north of Minot, North Dakota. Uh, we farm 4,700 acres. We grow uh, cereals, which is mainly wheat, uh, spring wheat and winter. A little bit of oats. Uh, we grow peas and we grow canola. Uh, we play a little bit with millet and uh, toying with soybeans. Uh, my dad started no-tilling back in the late 80s, um, so I would say we're about 25 year no-till. Um, we've gone through a few phases with fertility and drills and uh, at this currently seeding with an 1830 John Deere hoe drill, one pass with anhydrous and granular. Um, we're, we're still growing good crops, don't get me wrong that way, um, but it seems like we're up against a yield barrier. We're just not pushing it to that next level. Um, Good solid yields, but just not exceptional. And we've been playing with fertility. We've been trying higher rates, lower rates, uh, some different sources, some different options. Uh, currently this field we're doing some foliar top up on uh, that's new to us starting now. Just some stuff, the old tried and true methods that have always been used just don't seem to be pushing it to the next level. And just trying to figure out where that next level is and how that fits in between no-till versus non-no-till. Um, we've been trying, we run anhydrous as our nitrogen source. We run a granular phosphate potash sulfur blend. Um, we've gone to total elemental sulfur on our sulfur side of things starting this year. Um, this year we're trying some top-up nitrogen. It's the Kugler brand is what it is. Um, heard some good results from some trials in Western Canada last year. Um, we've been playing with um, some of the different soil labs, some of the different soil testing techniques and getting different response or results from them. Um, we've had results as high as 60, 70 pounds of potash, not needing any phosphates, um, and then nitrogen on top of that. And we've had stuff all over the board. We've tried sampling you know, fields individually and micromanaging, and we're just not seeing the responses that we have been told. Um, to a large extent, the biggest thing that's surprising us is we're finding a lot of times less is equaling every bit as good as far as yield, as far as protein. And just trying to see if there's something with the no-till, the way the nitrates are cycling in the soil and the organic matter releasing that's maybe not being picked up by the other tests and maybe that's part of our issues. Uh, for us, it's shallow seeding, uh, warm soil and uh, Seeding depth is critical. Just keep it shallow, keep it consistent. Um, one thing we really struggle with is trash. Um, traditionally, we're seeding into cereal stubble, and if it's not ideal conditions out, the straw bunches, the straw can be a little thicker and just the way it flows back. And especially on the year, if you get a cooler spring, it just insulates that ground enough and it's a little cooler and the plants struggle. Um, plants are a little weaker, they tend to be then in those areas with the heavy straw loads, and if you do happen to get frost or you do get insect damage, they tend to focus on those areas. So. Good straw management, good seeding depth, and uh, hopefully good warm soil and go from there.